Now, let's enter our time for sprinkler repairs. Let's come in here under Tasks, Time and Expense, Time Tickets. Here, the first thing we want to do is pull in our employee, Alex. Alex is our sprinkler repairman. We're going to enter a time ticket for March 15th. You can see here, these are our activity items we can choose from. Sprinkler repair. Our customer here was Hensley Park Apartments. Next, we come down to enter our time. And we have a couple of choices here. We can do manual time entry or timed duration. Time duration also allows us to just enter the total amount of time. Manual time entry, we can enter start and end time and any breaks. Time duration, we can hit the start button and a clock will run and then we can hit the stop button. Or we can come down here to duration and just put in the total amount of time. Alex spent three and a half hours at the Hensley Park Apartments. Notice when we put 3.5, what the unit duration is down here, 3.83. So in other words, it's using 100 units to divide up an hour. So we want to use 3.3, and that gives us 3.5 as our unit duration. Now, here is the billing rate. We don't want to use the billing rate we want to use the activity rate which is 24.95 per hour that gives us a total over on the right of eighty seven dollars and thirty three cents next if we want to we can enter information for the invoice so this would be description on the invoice and an internal memo so if we need any internal information about this time ticket now, let's save this time ticket. Let's go over and demonstrate the difference between the daily tab, which we just used, and the weekly tab. The weekly tab allows us to enter information a little bit more efficiently. Many people prefer the weekly tab. Here is the time ticket we just entered. Let's enter a couple more here. The first thing, once again, is the activity item, sprinkler. It's for a customer, and let's pull in our customer. This time that we spent was for the Holt Properties. Pay level is regular, and employee rate, we want to change this to activity rate. $24.95 per hour. This is billable and it was on Monday March the 10th we were there all day repairing their sprinklers next let's come down and once again pull in the activity item it's for a customer and this customer was Bulldog Sports. We had to go repair their sprinklers because the Bulldogs have been digging them up. Once again, here we're going to use an override rate versus a flat fee or activity rate. See, we can use four different ones here. We're going to do an override rate because we give them a special deal. So we can put our own rate in here of twenty dollars that we're going to bill out and that's how we can use the weekly tab versus the daily tab 
let's save these and now they're saved in the system and let's close out of this window next we're gonna be ready to bill for this time 